Well, the Philip Lindsay era in Boulder has ended, and as every CU fan wipes away a tear from their eye right now, uh, at the thought of not seeing that Tasmanian Devil run in black and gold anymore. The, the Buffaloes get a signed letter of intent from Dion Smith, a really talented back out of Texas. Yeah, a guy that's going to remind you a lot of Alex Fontenot from last year, definitely. Uh, love his film. Uh, gets to the, the line of scrimmage as quickly as possible, doesn't mess around. Straight line speed is pretty impressive. Uh, one cut back, just like we've seen from previous guys here at Colorado, is what you want to see. Uh, to me, he's a guy that would have probably 15 more offers if he didn't get hurt this year. So maybe a blessing in disguise for Colorado. Obviously, you don't want to see a, get, a kid get hurt. But they would have had a real battle on their hands, I think, to keep this kid. He was blowing up early senior year. Yeah, you mentioned the, the fact that he had blown up. Uh, UCLA when it was one of his other options early in the process. And Notre Dame, Boise State, and Utah were, were after him hard this fall. Um, he averaged 10 yards per carry through the first four and a half games of his senior season until that injury. Um, you, it's funny you mentioned the comparison to Alex Fontenot because that's one thing I had written down here, just watching his film. It seems, seems like he's a well-rounded back. He's got good speed, ran a 10.85 in the 100-meter dash last May. But he's not a specialist. There's not maybe one specific thing that you look to with him. He just kind of does a lot of things pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, he, but I think that's a good thing for a running back. You want to be able to do multiple different things on a different on a different drive. He had a couple plays in this film where he was lined out wide and actually looked pretty comfortable in catching passes as well. And obviously, he's not going to be a wide receiver, but it's nice to know that a guy can have solid hands as well. Use him in that form of the passing game too. So, to me, he's a guy who has a chance to play very early. There's obviously a big gaping hole in our running back depth chart right now that someone's going to have to step into if they feel comfortable with his health moving forward in fall camp. I could see him playing this year. Yeah, you touched on his versatility. Notre Dame actually even wanted him as a defensive back. Uh, this was somebody that Ross Ells and Darian Hagen both recruited to Boulder. Deion Smith, officially a buff.